Hello everyone, welcome back to SOMAI Tutorials, plus second PUC state syllabus. This is the multiple choice question, session number 14, chapter 17, web designing. This question is that HTML stands for what? Options are option A, hypertext makeup language, option B, hypertext markup language, option C, hypertext marking language, Option D, hypertext marker language. So all of these option, the correct option it is HTML stands for option B, hypertext markup language. So hypertext markup language, it is a language which is used for creating the web pages. Next question, choose the correct HTML tag to make the text bold. Options are option A with an angle bracket bold. Option B with an angle bracket double B. Option C with an angle bracket just only B. Then option D B L D with an angle bracket. So correct option it is a angle bracket B. This tag which is used for to make the text bold. Next question. A web form contains what? Option A text field. Option B radio button. Option C checkbox option d all of these so correct option it is all of these because a web form it contains all of these like a text field radio button checkbox menu box or anything else so that the correct option it is all of these next question d html stands for what options are dynamic hypertext markup language option b domain hypertext markup language Option C, domestic hypertext markup language. Option D, data hypertext markup language. So correct option it is the H D HTML stands for so dynamic hypertext markup language. Already we know that the what is an HTML expansion. So D for the dynamic. So that the HTML it is dynamic hypertext markup language. Next question. XML stands for what? Options are extended markup language option b extended makeup language option c extension markup language option d extension makeup language so correct option it is option a extended markup language next question which among the following is not a type of web hosting so option a free hosting option b virtual hosting option c non dedicated hosting Option D, collocation hosting. So here, the correct option it is non-dedicated hosting is not a type of the web hosting. So all of these, the options which are the free hosting, virtual hosting, collocation hosting, these are all the type of an, a web hosting. And dedicated hosting is also in a type of an, a web hosting. But non-dedicated hosting, it is not a type of the web hosting. So that the correct, correct option it is option C, non-dedicated hosting. Next question, the DAG used for converting text into bold face. So it is already repeated question. So option B, so with an angle bracket, with this DAG which is used for converting any text into the bold face. Next question, the DAG is used for underlining the text. So options are option A, angle bracket B, option B, angle bracket U, option C, angle bracket I, option D, angle bracket P. So U, the correct option it is angle bracket U. It is the tag is used for underlining the text. Next question, the tag which is used to resize the text. Options are option A, B, option B, H1, option C, U, option D, P. So first tag is used for the text into your bold face. The second tag, it is an a resizing text tag. H1 is in a highest font size and H6, it is a lowest font size. So here the correct option, it is H1. It is used to resizing the text and U is an underline. The P is a paragraph. Next question, the process of creating and embedding the scripts in a web page is called what? 
options are web hosting option b domain option c web scripting option d dhtml the correct option it is the option c web scripting it is a process web scripting it is a process of creating and embedding means joining the scripts in a web page it is called web scripting next question which tag is used to create a hyperlink in a web page options are h1 tag option b li tag option c p tag option d a tag the correct option it is a a tag a which means that anchor tag the anchor tag which is used for creating the hyperlink in a web page next question dash is, dash is a type of hosting that is available with many prominent sites that offers to host web pages for a no cost so options are virtual hosting option b free hosting option c dedicated hosting option d none of the way. the correct option it is a free hosting so because these web pages are host for an a no cost so that is called a free hosting so that the free hosting it's a type of a hosting it is available with many prominent sites that offer to host the web pages for the no cost so that the correct option is a free hosting next question which tab of html is used for formatting output options are option a a tag option b body tag option c b tag option d title tag so here the body tag which is used for the formatting the output in the html next question how to create an ordered list in a html so options are ul that is unordered list option b h reference that is for the hyperlink option c ol for an ordered list option d that is b that is a bold text so correct option it is a option c ol that means ordered list next question dash will be the extension of the html file so already we know the concept of this one that is a dot html so dot html will be the extension of an html file next question which of the following does not have the closing tag so among these options angle bracket a that have an the closing tag image it does not have a closing tag break it does not have a closing tag so that the option d is a both b and c it is a correct answer next question which of the following is not a table tag so options are table and td tag and tn tag and tr tag so among these option tn it is not in a table tag because the table it is a table tag is present in the table so td it is a table header tr it is a table row and tn it is not in a table tag so that the correct option it is tn thank you so much if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for the notification of the new videos thank you so much